As exiles, we live in the Grey Zone, a perilous space that teeters between life and death, sometimes hunting, sometimes hunted, always surviving. Whilst we traverse this maze in an attempt to win the Great Rat Race, we lose sight of the big picture, that this race is a game inside of a game inside of a reality where both a beginning and an end exist simultaneously, where nothing comes from nothing and yet everything comes from something. So take a moment, get away from the hustle and bright lights of the city, drink your black lotus potion, look up at the stars, and ask yourself, why? The saying goes, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, but in Conan the saying is modified. If you don't annihilate your enemy and force complete and utter submission, then they will come back stronger and when you least expect it. So it's now day two in our new location, haven't been raided yet, uh, always a good sign. We just have to survive today and then tomorrow starts the weekday so we'll be safe at that point. But I'm starting to lay out the interior of the base, this is where like, all the crafting is going to go. I'm going to have a three layer floor beneath the crafting stations and a three layer wall with three doors continue to add layers to the front layers here and I'm just trying to make this as confusing as possible so complicated even piss off H8 oh yeah what's the best pick we have I'll use that for the black ice um we should have a hardened steel one somewhere living that poverty life right now what you're about to witness is a marvel of modern science we were poor in wealth, but rich in spirit. Time to head back north to do some farming and survey the ruins of our former life. You've got the chance, mate! Hopefully we can get some armor off the first couple ones and then... Gear them up. It's home sweet home. Nice. Right? Through back. We're gonna get you, kingdom. You've got no chance, mate! Ooh, boots. Yeah, I get the boots. Okay, girl, guess what? You lose that peg leg. Cool, you're up to 17 armor now. <laughs> You'll be alright. Woo! I bet we There's could get crystal. some stuff at Frank West's house. Didn't I see you guys before? We gave you some offerings and then gave you some thralls that accidentally killed you when they woke up. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. Frank is not online. Okay. Let's just go see if we can borrow some stuff from Frank. We'll give it back. Even some IOUs, maybe. Blacksmith level 1. Dude, he's actually logged off on the ground. Are you kidding me? Should I take his gear? <laughs> Should I take his armor? Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna leave the backpack. Or should I take his backpack? Nah, dude. he loves that thing. He told, he told me all about it last time. Star Metal Mace, dude. Take that. Black Ice Pick. Hard and Steel Hatchet. What is he thinking, dude? Oh, I don't know. He's got a chest. That's Oh, he actually locked it. Okay. Oh, wow, he locked it. Sorry, Frank, <laughs> for taking your gear. My bad, dude. I wonder if maybe he... um. Got kicked off the server or something, and then his mom called him. He had to go. <laughs> yeah, my chick is already a little bit wounded. Can't get in, uh, can't get in a brawl with too many people at once. Whoa, this guy just came running out. Oh shit! This might be bad. This is crazy. These archers, dude, are just ridiculous. Can't tell who's who. Oh, almost dead, almost dead. Oh, almost dead too. And I'm out of stamina. Run! Okay, still alive. Oh, the two level threes. What's my girl doing? Don't just run off. Got a helmet. Oh, nice. Ooh, and some boots and star metal is on this chick. I'm selfish, I took, I took all the armor for myself. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, dude, look at Frank West in the comments. Oh, Frank! Oh. <laughs> Awkward. Do we give him back or what? Oh, dude, check, check your, your log. log. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> it doesn't show up if people grab things off of you. Oh, he doesn't know. Yes. <laughs> Wait, I'm pretty sure that it 
does. Yeah, it does. I go give it oh. back. Oh man. Tell him that he's an idiot. He's just you're teaching him a lesson. Hey Frank, you home, man? Hey Frank, you there? Yep. Sorry, man. I died. I had to grab your stuff, but uh, but there it is. Thanks. No problem, dude. All right, I just gave it all back. That's so uncomfortably awkward. <laughs> Frank's just like, thanks. Dude, that's so awkward. But the guy came back and gave it back anyway. Ah, I'm such a sweetie. Oh, what a, what a pussy. Hopefully we can see you off this. Don't knock him off the edge. Don't do it. Don't knock him off the edge. Hit up, hit up, hit up. Helmet. Did you get it? Yeah. You've got no chance, mate. Got no chance, mate. Oops. Oh, he's got a, a chest piece. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Jeez, it's a bully beatdown, dude. Dang, they're swarming him. Those girls are savage. I think we should only ever have girl followers. Another chest piece. Nice. And a candle. Getting some decent steel. Oh. Did you hear that Wookiee noise? Like, as he was choking on his own blood and dying? Pokey, pokey, mate. Pokey, pokey, mate. Pokey, pokey. What do we got? We got some more steel. Came here naked, and now we're kind of geared up. Almost, yeah. Oh, I forgot about the purge. Let's head up, get black ice, and teleport back. We have time? Yeah, we got time. Totally don't have time. Dude, we got time. We're good. Oh, yeah, on the tip of that thing? Yeah. Ooh, that mammoth is levitating. What the heck? It feels like just yesterday we were living up here. I know. There's my favorite tree. There's my favorite rock. It's my favorite mammoth. I still can't believe Frank's like, who took stuff off my body? Dude, you have a base. You have two bases. Just open <laughs> the door. Go, go inside one. Oh, yeah, let's try to catch that... Um, the little iceberg thing, the little ice cube oh, as it shit. as it rolls down the hill. I'm just gonna start heading back. I'm at the black ice. I have two hardened steel picks. I think one was Frank's. I don't remember. <laughs> the ice cube's coming. I don't think I can mine this quick enough to jump on. Oh, perch coming in 30 seconds. Oh, I didn't make it. Did you completely demo the old base? Yep. Okay. Are those two thralls still standing at the edge? Do you see them or no? After the kingdom raided us, they left behind a couple of their thralls, a clear warning to ensure we didn't return. It was a message we understood, but one which we would not heed. Definitely use your help back as soon as you can make it. A band of starved exiles is attacking. Uh-oh. Yep, it's, it's at our new base. No, is it? Hopefully it's outside and not inside. Can you just equip that? Okay. I'm good, I'm good. If you just force your thrall to equip their weapon, it just frees up a slot temporarily and you can just shove stuff in it. <laughs> um, I'm at the front door, I don't see anything. I'm gonna come inside and I don't see anything. I hear them attacking something. Oh shit, I think they're attacking her. Running as far away as I can, as fast as I can. Hopefully, she'll spawn. Uh oh. Someone's destroying the map room right now. Uh, okay. Yeah, they're up in top of the temple. Let's try to Let's slave, try them. slave them. Yeah. The guy trying to destroy that map room was all in white armor. It looked like Earl. But... <laughs> oh, people are gonna die. Yeah, probably was. All right, I put a club on my chick. I'm heading back up. Exile, a uh, fighter level one, fighter level one, fighter level two. Oh, that guy only took two hits to kill. As I made the trek through the jungle back to base, I reflected upon our first purge. A group of skeletons had descended upon us like undead locusts. It was an obvious sign from the gods of this world that survival comes at a price, and that price was steel and blood. And this purge would surely prove to be no different. They're all dead. Next wave. Hey, what's going on up here? Why is there a bunch of dead bodies lying everywhere? That's suspect, bro. H8 isn't on, so that's someone else destroying that map room. That sucks if they destroy that. They're here. Oh, dude, a big guy's here. Norris the backstabber. Oh, we gotta get him. Yeah, yeah for sure. This. Okay, it's just a boss. Alright, is that all of them? Yeah. Love how they make them bigger and you slay them and they shrink. Oh, really? Yeah, it must be spinal compression from the Wheel of Pain. He's out. Whoa, this chick was cleaved in half. 
Who is this guy? Oh, there's a guy underneath. Oh, she might exile. Nice, we got him. They're coming back in other nice. ways. Oh, they're here. They're literally wow. just materializing through the walls. Grr, leg biter. Let's try to get that one if we can. Got him, he's out. Alright, I'm gonna run him down. Nice. Another wave, this is we awesome. Bring the archers or no? We've got room for two more. Okay, there's one more in there. Otherwise, we can just wait. Dude, it's a straight up massacre in here. Dude, this is probably the best way for us to get through all. The unconscious ones are just stiff and planking on the ground. He was next to the wall. Uh-oh. So they're here. A level 4 fighter. Dude, I'm getting swarmed in here. Oh, look at his freaking mane. The backstab. Backed into a corner. Got him. Oh, and another one's gosh, coming. Another one. Hell yeah. All right, get him quick. I mean, this is perfect. Yeah, this is awesome. Look at all these bodies, dude. All right, what do we got? Oh, Ooh. carpenter. Nice. Carpenter. That's perfect. Strong in the arm. Oh, better than the first wave. Another one. Oh my god. Another one. <laughs> Can we put down like another I mean, little I guess if there's quick? Okay, we got all tier 4 thralls right now. What are they all? One's a carpenter, one's a fighter. There's two fighters, one armor, one carpenter. We need a flamethrower <laughs> so we can just torch all these bodies. They're coming. This has got to be the last one, right? What do we got? What do we got? <gasps> oh, is that a blacksmith? Oh, it's oh. Barry the blacksmith. Dude, that's perfect. Oh. I got one. Like yeah. Barry. Leave me alone, Barry. Oh, she's... Barry's gonna kill my dude. Hey, Barry, can you chill, please? Dead. There we go. Finish him off, I'll take Barry down. We could put a smaller wheel down. Oh my gosh. Put oh no, wheel. my person died. My person died. Come grab another. Yeah, come grab another, right? Let's put another wheel down. How much is it to make a wheel? 200 reinforcements, 50 brick. We should have it. Okay, we got the reinforcements. We got the brick. What about just like a small, what about just a small wheel? Oh, uh, dude, we need just a little bit. And then we need twine. We need effing twine. I think I have some on me. 80. We need 80. 80? Yeah. Oh, I don't have 80. We should have a ton. I'll try to convert it. I used a sickle a while ago. If you can just stay alive up there. Where is it? Okay, Eight. got it. I'm converting it. Are you going to have space to put that thing down? Uh, we'll see. Oh, it's a fighter. It's a level 4 fighter. Oh shit, I think he's... He's dead. I hit... He came up from behind me and I hit him just from a couple swings and he died. Oh, we might get... Oh, we got a level... We got a level uh, 3 archer though. Times. Let's see what this guy is. The fighter. Another level 4 fighter. Knows the murderer. Uh oh. Be so careful. Dude, Barry's gone. Barry, no! We needed Barry! I should have just got. Oh my god. Should have just put him on the wheel. How's she. Unless she's. How? Oh, I placed it, dude. I finally placed it. Awesome. Fuck. Yeah, hopefully you can see Barry. Please tell me you see Barry somewhere. Oh uh, yeah, right here. It's nice, dude. A purge is a funny thing. An exile's goal is survival, and yet the more you build, the more you get punished. But this time, the punishment rewarded us with some much needed thralls. In the midst of the action, I was having difficulty placing the second wheel pain, and in the meantime, Barry had vanished, or at least as far as I could see. Fortunately, Brynhildr found the famed blacksmith. This purge had proved to be extremely fruitful, perhaps a sign of positive things to come. On my screen, she's glitched up to the ceiling. Yeah, you as got soon as her? I grabbed her, my rope went all the way up. Yeah, she's on the wheel. Nice, so let's take a look. We're gonna see what else is up there. Two level four fighters, level four armor, level four carpenter, level four blacksmith, level, another level four fighter, Moss the murderer, and a level three archer. That's pretty sick. Yeah, that's... We have any, um, any more room on the wheels or no? We have one more spot. 
a level three archer for some, for some reason just came through the wall, so... Oh, yeah, might as well take it. At the beginning of this raiding period, we were attacked, violently evicted from our home. By the end of the raiding window, we had regrouped, rebuilt, and persevered. Now, with our legs beneath us once more, we turn back to the mission at hand, revenge on the kingdom. I return to the site of our former home to remind myself of what once was. In a short period of time, nature had fully reclaimed what was always rightfully hers. No trace of our previous life existed on that snowy precipice. A reminder that sooner or later, we all return to the ground.